if it's Allah. You're saying it's not Anything possible. Is a possibility. Exactly. Yes. So why are you denying that Allah can't do it? I'm, not, I'm saying that He did not do it. No, but you're saying He did not do it. Where is the evidence for that? Uh, the Quran. Which, say, which verse says He didn't do it? Chapter 3. Yeah. Verse 150. Uh, 55. What does it say? What does it say? It says um, that we remember the time when we caused Jesus to, to, die, to, to, uh, to die. We caused the natural death. Yeah, that's yeah. in the second coming. First coming. Why does it say first coming? Then who is he talking about? How can you be talking about someone that doesn't He's been... telling you about the future, about the present, the past, and the future. Look at the Quran. I looked says, at the Quran, that's what I'm telling you. And it says Jesus has died. What does 4157 say? How did Jesus go up alive? You told me. In what way? If okay, first you need to understand one thing. Wait, wait. You're saying it's impossible for Allah? Is that what you're saying? I said it's impossible to happen because it's not the nature of Allah. No, no, no need like that. <laughs> Control from there. <laughs> it's okay. It is not the nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look, you're Ahmadi, okay? Who told you this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it. No, no. Do you read? Have said it. Do you read Arabic? I don't. Uh, yeah, read Arabic. Okay, what does it say in chapter 4, 157? I will have to check it. Yeah, check it. Without the translation. No, then I won't understand it. Exactly. So your, your basic... Our translation is perfect. No, no, you, nothing is perfect, my friend. No, it is nothing perfect. Nothing is perfect. Of course it's perfect. If it was perfect... Prophet is not perfect. Prophet yeah. he knew Arabic unlike you. But was he perfect? He was a messenger. There you go, he's perfect. No, no, what do you mean but perfect? But you said no one's perfect. No, I said no one is perfect no, no, in the translation, words. the way you're saying. The words. No, I'm not changing, I'm talking about the context. Okay, well, for sure, chapter 4. Okay. First and foremost, you need to tell me where Allah says it's impossible for him to take someone alive. Where does he say that? Because you're making that claim. That is, will Allah do this? That is your claim. Where does it say that it's impossible for Allah to do this? To take someone alive if he wants to. Which part of my question doesn't make sense to you? Everything. Really? So you don't know English then? Go learn English. Because, you don't know the nature because my, my question is quite clear. Where does Allah make that claim which you're making? You told me the words, what you said about... Uh, what did you say? What did you say? Allah says, He's ala kulli Do you know what that means? See, you don't know Arabic, that's the thing. You rely on translations and you're saying the translation is perfect. Even the translations that you read will tell you that Allah, if for Him, everything is possible. But obviously, we have to keep that in context. Okay, so, so yes? tell me about what does this mean? No, no, don't, what are you doing now? You're, you're looking at the, at the Arabic and then you look at the translation and then you I ignore, mean, wait, wait, then you ignore all the other passages like Surah An-Nisa 157, 158, where it says they neither killed him nor did they crucify him. Now where does it say even up alive? Where does it say alive? The same passage. It does not say alive. Okay, say 158. 158. Now this is this gentleman here is a Ahmadi, a Qadiani. So they have a different interpretation. They read the same Quran, but they interpret it differently. With Allah, many things are possible. Do you believe in any miracles of the Quran? Do you think there are any miracles at all in the Quran? Yes, of course. Which one is a miracle? The miracle when the Prophet split the sleeve. Okay. That's a miracle. Okay. So if many miracles. What about what about? No, let's stay on this. No, no. If, if Allah can do that, a miracle like splitting of the moon, then why? Do you think it's impossible to do any other miracles? Because it's not his nature. Why does it say that? That's what I'm asking you. It is not the nature because we see that this is what happens. No, you said it's not his life. nature. I'm asking you, where does it say that? Okay, you tell me where No, no, you made the claim. The onus is on you to prove it. Where, where in the Quran does it say it's not Allah's nature to take someone alive if Allah wishes to? Where have you seen anyone go up alive? Can you answer the question? First, you show me. No, I don't, okay, where? Other than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who split the moon? I'm not sure, but I know about See what I mean? You don't, I don't have to give you multiple evidences for one miracle. If Allah gives you one miracle, maybe it's only for that particular messenger. It's only for that particular prophet. Okay? Make sure it doesn't fall. Yeah, one five four one five seven one five eight tells you about Isa alayhi salam not being killed, not being crucified, but Allah saved him. Yeah, saved him. That's it. Read it. Read it. What does it say that? Even your own translation. Read it. Yeah, we believe that he's got saved. So if he got saved, how did he die? He came off the cross. Oh, he was on the cross. Because the Quran also says that we gave Jesus and Maryam a resting place in the east. A resting place. Yes. Where, where is that? Where is that in the east? 
Christ. <laughs> According to your belief? Uh, his name uh, India. Ah, India. Yeah, and who told you that? Uh, this is what we know. From whom? We know that because of the, uh, the shrine that was off, Jesus. Whose shrine? Jesus' shrine. Jesus' shrine. Yes. Who built the shrine? Uh, the, 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 at the time of the people that were living with Jesus. Give me one person who actually has, disciples. has built the... Disciples also went to India. They, 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 but they were new disciples. New people disciples. Can you name any one of them? What have to name any of them? Because you said you're disciples. So I don't name one. Of them, but there are so you know the shrine, but you can't even point to one disciple. Wow. So you tell me this is a Kadiani belief that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus died in India. He's, he's very you know, it's, unfortunately, this is what they do. They make up things. You are just, making up Just like the, the Kadiani, who is, uh, your, what do you say, the, you know, the messenger. Okay. They don't believe in uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi being the last messenger. Yes, so what they say? Like, they say, they go say, Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani was the last messenger. Yeah, was he a prophet according to you? He was a subordinate prophet. Was he a prophet or not? When Jesus comes, he's going to be a prophet. Is he a prophet or not? Answer the question. First, you ask the question. When Jesus comes, <laughs> I'm asking you the question. Is Ghulam Nabi, sorry, Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani a prophet of Allah or not? Yes, he is a prophet. Okay. So who is the Akhir Anbiya according to you? Who's the who's who's Khatim Al Anbiya? Khatim Al Anbiya is Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. What does Khatim Al Anbiya mean? It means the final, the seal, the seal. Okay. So if somebody is a final, can somebody be after the final? Yes, of course. So then it's not final then? Of course he can. Okay. What is the what is the final message? What is the listen, what is the final revelation? Okay, one second. You're talking too much, okay? Now listen. Well, I have to talk because you're giving all nonsense. What you're all doing falsehood. is lying. Dying in India, you're on the cross. Making up stuff. Which part did I lie? You're lying. Which part did I lie? You're saying that uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not the last prophet. That we don't believe that. You said that. Did you not say he's a, he's a prophet, the Ghulam Nabi Kadir? But did I say he's a new prophet? Oh, no. So what kind of prophet is he? He's a prophet, prophet that came before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who came before? He did not come with no teaching. So you, he did not come with Are you saying Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani was born before you, Muhammad? Listen, what you doing? Just lying, Can you answer the question? Instead of you being it's emotional. With the okay, look, do. if you don't want to answer the question, that's fine. That is what happens when you yourself are projecting your lies upon us. Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani, according to you, was a prophet. Yes, born a But you also claim at the same time that okay. the Khatimul Anbiya. Where are you getting your teachings? Can I finish? Oh, no, no, can you I finish? Can't. No, you can't. No, don't where, tell me then. Where are you getting your teachings from? Why should I talk to you if you don't want me to You're complain? getting your teachings from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is the one that's <laughs> telling me all the teaching of Islam. How do you know that? Because after yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died. You know, for me, the Quran the grandson, has got nothing to do with Saudi Arabia. The, the Quran, grandson, which he doesn't even know, which he doesn't read in Arabic. Yes, he doesn't read in Arabic. He doesn't even know what, when I said, Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Yes, he doesn't even know that simple understanding of that. Okay? Who killed the grandson of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No, no, don't change the topic now that you have lost the argument. The argument was this. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last messenger, which he already conceded. He but then he said, Ghulam Nabi, Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani is also a prophet of God. Arabian people have told you. Look, anyway, look, you know, all this gobbledygook and all is, the is something we don't want to hear. We've got nothing to do with your lies. That's all I'm saying. And it's getting through the Quran. So stick to the Quran and the Sunnah. You have the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Khatim al Anbiya, which he already admitted. But then how can Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani be a prophet as well? You don't understand the concept when, of the finality of the prophethood. Okay, listen. If Isa is sitting up alive in heaven now, I'm going to answer your question if you don't answer my question. Why should I? I'm going to answer your question if you don't answer mine. I've asked if so the many questions. No, if the, final, if the finality of the prophethood ends with if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani is a false prophet. If Muhammad He's a false prophet. He said, you know, Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani, he said, I'm going to write X number of books. He did not even complete those books. You're a liar. Okay? <laughs> he can't even complete. They say that Isa Alayhi Salam died in the... In India, that is called brainwashing from your Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani, a false prophet. Every prophet after the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a false prophet, and that is a reality. Okay? Khatim al Anbiya. Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia did not. It's got nothing to do with your Aqidah, whether Saudi Arabia is there or not. Our Aqidah is based on the Quran and Sunnah. Nothing to do with the country or not. So anyone who says any prophet exists after Prophet Muhammad 
Muhammad is alive. No, you, and this is the Qadianis. He doesn't read the Quran. You know why? You know why the Muslims have rejected the Qadianis? Because of the lies like this. That they, they, they say that they accept Prophet Muhammad as the last messenger. But in the same breath, they'll tell you Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani is a prophet of God as well. Okay, let, that is a blatant let lie. Me ask you a question. No, I don't want to answer your question because you're a liar. You're just kid. You're like the Dajjal. Just, you know, like the Dajjal will say, Masih Dajjal, they'll say, I am the real Masih of God. If, if but right, then he's going to make you, and you know, by his deception, and make you make. believe you his job. magic and all that. Yeah. Now you're repeating what I'm repeating because you've got nothing to say. The reason they believe a false prophet is because they are not Muslims. Yeah. And that's the reason they are not Muslims, the Qadianis. Okay? So Alhamdulillah, you see, you see, that is the reason Islam, Sunnah Islam, Sunnah Islam is going to sta stand upon the Haq and not upon fringe elements like these guys who are just here to spread the lies about Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, who is a false prophet, not a real prophet. And this religion of that is a false religion called Qadianism, Ahmadiyya, whatever they want to call Okay. Anyway, Jazakallah Khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We don't speak to liars. Go away.